Okay, so I will start uh, today with the uh, applied conjoint analysis for academic research, basic concepts and applications. Okay, since some of you will utilize this technique, for example, if you would like to do market research, if you would like to do uh, any kind of like the marketing analysis, you know, I like to start. I mean, usually this is actually for good for business and marketing. Okay, so uh, and I know I think three or four students, or I don't know five perhaps, you know, in this class will utilize this technique. So I'll just will explain about uh, what. What is conjoint analysis okay okay this is the agenda i would like to explain about what is conjoint analysis and then three different styles of conjoint analysis in traditional conjoint analysis with orthogonal design and but this is very advanced you know conjoint analysis and cluster analysis at the same time but usually this one is actually for the phd uh, program okay but i just perhaps i would like to explain just up to this one okay conjoint basic concepts perhaps i will just jump directly to the orthogonal design okay Okay, so what is conjoint analysis? Okay, uh, conjoint is actually joined together or combined. You know what? Uh, uh, and this is actually like uh, you can. It's actually some mentioned that it's actually from the uh, word consider jointly, consider jointly. So they come up with the con conjoint. You know, this is actually the uh, you know the uh, technique. One of the techniques in the multivariate analysis. Okay, so you actually try to uh evaluate okay uh, several different attributes at the same time okay is there someone who knows about the conjoint analysis or utilize the conjoint analysis in this or you took my class before and then you know about what is conjoint analysis is there i read a, a little bit about it though because last time you told me that uh, i might use conjoint analysis for uh, for my research. Yeah. So, uh, what do you know about conjoint? What you've learned? May I know? Sir John, what, what do you know? Uh, yeah, I have. Uh, very basic, uh, I just very, uh, re read very basic concepts, uh, which uh, there are some similarities with, with AHP. This is what I... I mean, uh, what I got from, from the readings that I've got. So the process seems to be a little bit similar with AHP process, analytical okay. hierarchy process. On Okay. What about other students? Is there someone who knows about the conjoint analysis or heard about conjoint analysis of learn or like you have learned before? No one, okay, you know what, this is very important. You know what, uh, uh, you know, rather than knowing the structural equation modeling, I usually force students to know about what is conjoint analysis because later on you will, perhaps you will use it. Okay, what is conjoint analysis? Okay, this is like what I've mentioned before. It's one of the multivariate techniques that can be utilized for understanding how an individual preference are developed. Okay, uh, what if what I mean with the conjoint is actually something like this one, okay? For example, you go to Starbucks, okay? Uh, I believe that most of the students in here are males. I think all of you are uh, like, just like me, you know, we are the coffee, I would like to say, uh, uh, you know, drinker, you know, we are the coffee drinkers. And then like, uh, uh, may I ask, uh, uh, Jesse, what's your favorite coffee, the type? Um, it's the macchiato. Okay, okay, macchiato. And what about the temperature? I'm really not familiar because my brother is making it for me. <laughs> no, you like hot or cold? I, I, sorry, hot. hot. I like it hot. Okay. You like Arabica or Robusta or Liberica? Uh, mix. Mix of both. Mix. What about the sugar? More uh, less, normal? Less, less sugar. Normal? Less sugar. Okay. Less sugar. Okay. okay. Let's say, Sir John, what about you, sir? Which one you like? Uh, the <laughs> Normally in the office, I take uh, Americano with a shot of espresso. To okay, other Amer other America uh, America Americano with add of espresso. I'm adding a shot of espresso to oh, Americano. Okay, okay. In okay, okay, okay. But America. still Americano. It's stronger. You, yeah. It's still Americano. Yeah, yeah. That one. Nah, that one is still Americano. <laughs> you like hot or cold? A uh, hot course. Hot. Okay. Uh, that's that's hot. And then you, which one you like? You like Liberica, Robusta, or uh, Arabica? Arabica. 
Wow, you like sweet then. Okay, and then what about the sugar? No. No sugar. Well, I don't, we don't are, put sugar. Yeah, okay. We are a little bit close actually, sir. Okay. Uh, for me, I like, I like, uh, oh, but no, the beans is quite different. Okay. Actually, I like, for me, okay, I choose espresso. Okay. Uh, I like warm, actually. You know, I don't like too hot. Usually, like when uh, I drink coffee, I will just open it with a little bit warm, you know. Uh, but I don't like when it's cold, you know, like, or with ice. I don't really like it, okay? And then uh, the beans are like Robusta because I like a bitter taste and no sugar. So uh, I don't know. That's just so, yeah, that's just my taste, okay? But I think for girls, you like more like latte or cappuccino, you know, uh, you know, uh, those yeah. things, you know. But yeah, right, for female. Usually for female, you know, uh, yep. uh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, for people, they you know like those type. Okay? But for male, usually they will like lead a bit more into the originality of the uh, coffee. Okay, so <clears throat> what is conjoin actually? Why I explain about coffee? You know, because you drink coffee every day. You actually you do conjoin every day. You know, <laughs> what what it means with the conjoin? Okay, look at this one. There are some we, you call at the you know, at the past you know it like factors or variables, but in the conjoin we don't use that term. We use the term attributes. Okay? This is very specific. When you say attributes, oh, that's a conjoin. You're talking about the conjoin. Okay? And those, the type of the, the coffee, okay, the temperature, the bees, the sugar, you know what? These are uh, you know, the attributes of the coffee. And this, you know, this is what we call the levels of the coffee. Okay? And each level, you know what, should be orthogonal. What I mean orthogonal is like it's it's possible to just split everything like like that one. So you, you know cappuccino, hot or cold, both are possible, right? And then uh, arabica, robusta, or liberica, you know those are actually yeah uh, we can we can always you know what uh, change. For example, latte but with robusta latte with arabica we can do that we can do that okay. And for the sugar, you know what uh, without sugar, more sugar, normal sugar, you know. And later on you can see actually like a. Which one is the best combination? Let's say, you know what, the attack of the coffee later, the, the best which one, the temperature which one, the beans which one, and the sugar which one, the level of the temperature. And not just about that, you later on, you will know that the, the level of the importance in here, the import, which one is more important, the type, the temperature, the beans of the sugar. For me, the most important is the type. The second is the beans, you know. But are you sure that's the, how we're going to do that? Later on, we uh, actually would like to uh, see what will happen, okay? So the term, understand the term first, okay? These are the attributes, and this is actually what we call the levels, okay? And this is actually quite important for marketing. No matter what kind you do, when it comes to the market analysis, I think Codjoy is so powerful, okay? <clears throat> Okay, so many people in industry don't know about conjoin, but actually, like, uh, uh, you know, uh, sometimes uh, when I face, uh, I think two two terms ago, I think yeah, uh, when they when he learned about conjoin, he actually was like, oh sir, you know what? Uh, how I wish, you know, I I, I know about the conjoin analysis, okay? Then 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 I can help my company to do uh, you know high degree of a market analysis. Okay, anyway. Uh, this is the use of the conjoin analysis, okay, for the far market segmentation. Later on, you can segment them you know what the market okay and after that you can do the that uh you can uh, determine the optimal uh positioning for example like uh, how distinctive your product with other uh with other products let's say you're gonna propose a coffee and 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 how different is coffee with other coffees okay have you tried the seafed coffee or lua coffee seafed coffee like you know the coffee from the poop of the animal is there someone who tried that that's the most expensive coffee in the world it's so expensive, you know, but no one, I mean, like, uh, but it's not for everyone, perhaps, like, uh, you know, what, uh, that kind of a coffee, okay? Um, yeah, that one. For me, my favorite, I still like Brazilian coffee from Santos. It's, 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 it's my favorite, uh, the, the, the black one, uh, the uh, Robusta. They have a very unique taste, I would like to say. <laughs> okay, so what's good about conjoin? See, when respondents are forced to make different trade-offs, we learn what they truly value. This is what I really like about Conjoy. You force them to really, to really, you know, uh, see which one is actually more important for them. They, you do care more about the sugar, or you do care more about the what? Okay, the type and so on. Okay, I think one, uh, one 
uh, did uh, I would like to say the taste analysis. Who who is going to do that? Is it Anna? You Anna? No. Anna, is that is that you? You, the one who do the taste analysis or like I forget. I think there is one girl. Uh, no, I think what? it's uh, Aryan. Oh, Ariana. Ariana. Yeah, sorry, Ariana. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, perhaps that uh, later on when when she, you know what? Uh, when she see. Okay, this uh, I would like to see PP, uh, PPT. I think that uh, she will know that uh, it's not doing something like a, uh, okay. It, it's not something like a, how to that? It's not like, okay, how important this one, one to 10, how important this one, one to 10, you know, and so on. It's better for you to just put it together and combine it together. And then later on, you will analyze those things simultaneously. So this is actually much more better technique, okay? Perhaps in your BS, you, you learn like that one, you split it that one, like close to AHP, okay? But this one is actually more advanced, okay? Let me just uh, explain it to you later on, okay? Uh, this is actually like uh, the application of the conjoint analysis, okay? And then, uh, okay, let me just uh, erase that one. Okay, and conjoin these days, you know what, uh, this is actually for the COVID-19 vaccine. Okay, there are so many vaccines, right? Either AstraZeneca, either Sinovac, either uh, Moderna, and the, I mean, the, the attributes kind of like that one, like the attributes can be shot once only or twice, you know, and then the other attribute is kind of like the efficacy, okay? And then another attribute, perhaps that is it possible for the ladies, especially for the pregnant ladies, okay? Pregnant, pregnant woman, I would like to say, okay, and so on. So there's some applications like nowadays even in the health you know conjoin is so powerful okay uh and in the past you know what you could not find uh the hotel kind of like two stars or like uh, sorry uh three stars or two stars you can you know, it's a little bit rare but because of the conjoin analysis you know what there is a market segmentation yes uh four star five stars yes there are like in that level but uh like another one like backpacker you know but you forget somewhere in the middle three stars, two stars, you know, because those are still market, you know? So that's why like using the conjoint analysis is actually pretty powerful, okay? Now, uh, I've done conjoint analysis with milk tea, and this is what I've done with the senior high school students. Uh, well, this study, you know what, published in very high quality journals, you know, uh, foods. And then uh, it's just asking what, what kind of food, uh, milk tea attributes that you, you would like, uh, you know, th that's your favorite, okay? The same thing with the market analysis, let me uh, show you later on, okay? so. Oh, I've done also conjoin. Uh, you know what? Conjoin is actually my favorite, my favorite of the multivariate uh, uh, techniques. Okay, perhaps uh, most of you know that I publish many with structural equation modeling, but that's not my favorite. Okay, uh, my number one is actually conjoin. Uh, my undergraduate thesis, I did not even, uh, I did not uh, do ergo when I was in the uh, undergraduate for my undergraduate thesis because I really like conjoin. So I did the strategic product design. Okay, still part of IE, but uh, more into product, strategic product design, but it's actually I utilize the conjoint analysis. Okay, okay, okay. So if you would like to do conjoint analysis, here are the steps if you would like to do. The first, you have to identify what are the key attributes and the levels. For example, Sir John, you, I mean, you are going to conduct the conjoint analysis, right? You have to define, tell me what are the attributes and the levels of each attribute. Can you give one example, sir? What are you going to do? I forget. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, what I did is that I uh, I, I somehow uh, define all the attributes uh, for each of my for each of the categories that we have. Okay. Like what just, are the attributes? I mean, uh, what What is your study about? I forget. Uh, yeah, I, my study is about this uh, remote uh, al allowance for engineers working uh, in the Middle East. So let me just again? open the again, again, again. Remote allowance, uh, remote assignment allowance for engineers. Okay, so what are the attributes? What are the attributes? Give me one example. I'm opening my sheet. Yeah. Uh, so in this study, we have three tires. Like tier one is temporary reassignment to another location. Okay, so that's one, right? So temporary, yeah. permanent, or you know, like like what? You know, that's uh, one attribute. What's next? Uh, um, no, actually, this this is the three tires. Then the attributes um, associated with it is like family allowance, housing allowance, commuter allowance, family unattended transfer allowance, and okay. like overtime. Okay, 
So that that allowance. those are the, the level. Okay, those are the attributes. And later on, you have to define the levels. For example, yeah. allowance, family allowance, like a, a kid allowance, and so on. And later on, you will see which allowance is more important. You will know later on, yeah. you know, with the data. Okay, anyway, so th that's one example, okay? And the second, you have to select the combination of attributes and the levels. You have to really make it distinctive. What I mean is like... A, Do they really know the representation of the uh, uh, of the the stimuli? Because later on you will see so many stimuli. Okay, uh, later on. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll show it to you. And then the yeah. prepare the representation. Uh, sorry, representation of uh, each design either with the prototype or the sketch or actually by using the questionnaire. Okay, and then they have to uh, uh, use the. I would like to say they have to rank or they have to do the Likert scale one to seven, and you will analyze the data. Okay. Uh, let me just skip this one, okay? Uh, because this is usually for uh, I explained this one uh, at the beginning for a doctoral degree program. But uh, let me just go directly to the uh, uh, all of you is actually like a, the most important like uh, practical. I would like to say conjoin is so practical, okay? So uh, perhaps like yeah, some students say like oh sir, you know what doing this is actually not practical. Mm. We can make it practical, okay? For example, okay. Uh, remember this is actually the Uh, full profile and orthogonal design. Let me explain it to you what, what's the difference between these two. Okay, imagine, you know what? Uh, if you have full profile for the orthogonal, okay, okay, full profile for the conjoint, it's going to be like this one. Okay, if you have, for example, this one, the attributes of the milk tea, the pearl size, okay, the sugar level, the price, the brand, the type, uh, the cream cheese inclusion, and also the amount of the ice. Okay, this is my study that I've done with the uh, 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 conjoint, you know, uh, that I published that one with the senior high school students. Okay, so now everyone can can see right in here, like you like the, which one, the pearl, the sugar, the price, brand, the type, cream cheese, or amount of ice. Which one is actually the most important? Everyone, just guess. Guess first. Can you type? Your answer among this, which which one is actually the most important? Yes, correct, correct. Everybody's correct. The most important is the pearl. Yeah, because with the Filipino respondents, <laughs> yeah, pearl is the most important. It is very yeah yeah okay. Well, my study, we of course we collected one more one in one thousand respondents. You know what? I think that's really good representation. I collected this one one thousand data. Uh, the those senior high school students collected uh, within only one week, and they collected 1,000 data using the Google uh, form, and they distribute that one online. Okay, and then um, uh, the most important later on, you know what? Uh, for the conjoint is actually the pearl size. But anyway, what I would like to, to tell you first, what is the difference between the traditional and the uh, orthogonal? Okay, traditional, you know, in order to make it all the representation of the possibilities, you know, the stimuli, we be like this one. How many here? Three, right? How many levels in here? Three, diba? Right? And this is actually four. This is how many? Three. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Two. Two. One, two, three, four. Four. So here, like four, four levels, two levels, two levels. Like, uh, okay, this is five, three, four, three. So if you would like to make, uh, you know what, I would like to say, we would like to make it the uh, conjoint analysis with a full profile, the total number of the stimuli, it would be like this one, three times four, 12. 12 times three, 36. 36 times five, 180. 180 times two, 360. 360 times two, 720. 720 times four is going to be 2,800 uh, and so on, okay? But anyway, um, Will your respondent answer 2,800 for one, one respondent? <laughs> What will they do if you have 2,000? They will run away, right? They will get out, right? So usually like they don't, you know, they then later on, there is a term called orthogonal design. What I mean the orthogonal design is, you know, they try to see, you know what, for example, if you have three like this one, Two, two, two. Let's say two, two, two. You have three attributes and each actually two. Okay. So later on, the minimum number of the stimuli is going to be four. See, orthogonal. It's not perpendicular, you know, each other. So this is the minimum. It's actually four. Later on, you will ask, sir, how will you de uh, determine which, which combination is actually this one? Or the computer will select it for us. Okay. When you have so many attributes, you cannot draw it. How can you draw, you know, how can you draw it? It's going to be difficult if you were going to draw that one, okay? So that's why, you know, we are, uh, okay, uh, we are actually going to, 
I use the orthogonal uh, conjoint design. Okay, then okay uh, with the orthogonal design, we collected around yeah one thousand something. This is actually the demographic. So later on, sir, if you would like to uh, collect the data, you don't need to uh, you know ask, ask the name or the email of the person. That's not important. Okay, uh, ask about the gender. You know the 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 age. You know the and so on. Okay, uh, this is actually the one that I've done with the with the uh, uh, milk tea, okay? And this is actually a, an example, sir. This is actually one combination, okay? The maximum, okay, for one stimulus, okay, the the number of the attributes, okay, is actually seven usually, usually seven. If you're more than seven, can you imagine, sir, for example, coffee, you know, you consider the type, you consider the location, you consider the price, you consider the, the cheese, you consider the sugar, the water, the glass, the whatever, you know, then it will be confused, right? For you, like, oh my God, I have to consider so many things, you know? Because you know what, sir, doing this, you know what, uh, uh, doing this is actually uh, from this one stimulus, you have to uh, give a rating, either one to five or one to seven using the Likert scale. For example, okay, small pearl, no sugar, 150 pesos, Mako Imperial, Macau Imperial, sorry, the fruity with cream cheese and less ice, okay? Uh, uh, Sir John, one to seven. Give the answer. One to seven. Sir John. Yes, Pa. Give the answer. One to seven. Uh, six. Okay, six. The next one. Big pearls, less sugar, 150 pesos, gong cha. Uh, milk tea, cream cheese, and then no cheese. Yeah, no cheese, no ice. One to seven. Small pearls. Sure. This one you give six. What about this? You give what? Uh, but First, Sir John, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? You 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 catch what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. So give one to seven. Yeah, yeah. Second combination. Likert scale one to seven. Give one answer. Sugar. Two. Okay, two. Okay, so later on, you know what, sir? Because uh, uh, later on, the minimum number of the, 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 you know, the minimum number of the stimuli in here, the software generated 34. So for our one respondent, he or she needs, you know, to answer this all. So later on, sir, the more attributes in here at the more levels for it under that attributes, later on, the more, more levels, yes. yes, the more number of the stimuli that need to be uh, evaluated, okay, for one person, okay. So uh, imagine, okay, for those 1,000 something, you know, I evaluated, uh, you know what, I, uh, they actually evaluate uh, uh, those, you know, using the seven point liquor scale. I would suggest seven point liquor scale because one to five, not big enough because in here, like one to seven, so many, this is seven. So I enlarge it into seven, then that will be uh, much better. Okay, look at this one. Okay, this one is actually how I collected the data. For instance, okay, small pearl, no sugar, 150 pesos, macro imperial, fruity with cream cheese, and then less ice. Uh, strongly disagree or strongly agree, but perhaps it's not strongly disagree. So it's strongly like or strongly dislike. <laughs> okay, so this is the way. And the question number two, the question number three, and so on. What about this sequence? Uh, who decide the sequence, the software, sir? Okay, don't worry, Let I will help you how to uh, develop uh, this software, but the data collection, you have to collect the data by yourself. But uh, this one, uh, you know what, the, this one actually the software will, will give it to us, especially if you utilize the orthogonal no. design. Okay? No. Any questions? Uh, yes? Yeah, I have a question. Bro. Um, yeah, when it comes to somehow, like uh, because my research is regarding for remote assignments i just want to ask if there are some some kind of like uh, negative attributes i, I mean uh, i can say like for example uh, it's uh, it, uh say for example for the 
how do you call this? Um, like uh, risk areas, you can I can say that okay, risky areas and and also how can we use these attributes also as well? Yes, of course. For example, high risk what? High risk of what? What risk? Um, it can be, be uh, yeah, uh, because of the. What's the risk? I mean, uh, what risk? Security risk. Okay, then security, security risk, risk or safety. Okay, then is for example, yes, puede. For example, you can put like a, a, a risk, you know, like high risk, medium risk, low risk. Yes, possible. Possible. Later on, you will know, right? People will will consider the risk more or the money incentive allowance more or or which correct, one. Correct, correct. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, which combination. Later on, you will see, okay? Let me give you uh, the result. Okay? Perhaps oh. I think I can show you the result first. Okay, okay. Uh, okay this one, sir. Okay. This is the, this one first. Later on, you will get this one, sir. The level importance of the attributes, okay? Later on, the number of this one is actually from 0 to 100. The total of this one is going to be 100. So this one is, yes, it's like AHP. You force the participants to really, you know, when, when you see all of these stimuli, okay, you, you will have some tendency to consider one or two, you know, the one that you like, right? For example, for me, you know, I'll, you know, most people, you like what? You like big pearls, right? I like small pearls for me uh, when I drink because when a big pearls, I don't know, I, it's easily for me to, <laughs> to stop in here, okay? But perhaps for most people, it's actually satisfying to chew something like that one in, in your mouth. But for me, I like small pearls, okay? So I like small pearls. I don't like I, I don't like uh, uh, more sugar. So this is, I don't like it. 180, 150, 120, not really big different for me. Okay, it's, those are just... just you know, uh, not really big different, but perhaps for students, it's big different, but for me, not really big different. The brand, I don't really care, okay? I like milk tea. I don't like fruity, especially fruity with cream cheese there. It's so, oh, I can't imagine that one, okay? More ice, no. I like uh, less ice. So that's, okay. So actually the one, if I have to choose that, but if I have to really force myself, which one actually I consider the most, I also don't know. I don't use rank, but I use the one to seven different skill for each of the stimulus. Okay, so later on, you know, for after the thirty-four stimuli, actually we can uh, actually get uh, you know the, the the result. Okay, this one the most important is pearl. See, everybody likes pearl. What's number two? The sugar level. Yeah, I think it makes sense. You know, the sugar level. Number three, what the ice. See? The price not really big difference, Diba, because it's just 120, 150, 180. I think people just not really, yeah, it's just around that number, okay? But if the range is like quite big, like double or triple, perhaps the price will have a bigger effect. So later on, if you have price, be careful. Or like, uh, you know, uh, price, uh, you have to be careful. The brand, not really important. So if you have, a, you know what, a new business in a milk tea, it's a big, uh, uh, you know what, a big, uh, I would like to say it's a big uh, business in the Philippines, perhaps. And then the cream cheese inclusion is just small, okay? So later on, okay, you can see also the utilities, okay? Among pearls, which pearl that everybody likes, see? Everybody, every this is, okay, uh, the utility estimates, you know, it will be affected by the level of the importance. This one, if level of the importance. The higher the level of the importance, of course, later on, the utility will be high, okay? For example, this one. Okay, the utility, this one. This is 0 0.330, 0 0.151. Small pearls is still positive, but no pearls. See, people don't like it. It will be negative and it's so big in here, okay? The sugar, the people like normal sugar. The price, of course, the cheaper, the better, okay? But, uh, uh, and then for the brand, people like Gongcha, but this is very small, 0 0.0118. So this is actually quite small. If you compare with the pearls, you know what? With pearls, is plus 0 0.330, okay? Okay, and then without pearls is minus 0 0.481. So later on, the utility will be negative. Okay, if like people don't like it, I would like to say. Okay, and then okay, the type of the the type people like milk tea, and for the cream cheese inclusion, people like with cream cheese, and the more of the ice, people like just the normal ice. Okay, so later on, Sir John, you know, you can see later on which among those levels. For example, if the level is just the high risk, low, medium risk, low risk, of course, low risk is usually perhaps later on will have the higher utility estimates. For example, uh, the salary uh, okay uh, uh family and so on of course the higher the better but later on uh, sir john you will see you know this one which one you know they care the most they care the most about the money or the level of the safety and so on you can get from those respondents you can see this one and this is actually the beauty that i like from the conjoint because you really force the person to consider you know what uh, which one is more important and not just about that later on you can see how you can see like the marketing strategy which one is the best 
big pearls, normal, later on, you know, if you do the combination, you know, it will be like this one. Big pearls, normal sugar, 120 pesos. This is small, actually. Milk tea with cream cheese and normal ice. So this is actually the best combination, okay? But not just about that. From this number, okay, everyone, from this number, you can actually calculate, you know what, the utility value, the, the total utility value of each stimulus, okay? For example, what is that one? Look at this one. What is this one? What is the, this rank? What is this rank? If you, I ask you ranking 1 to 34, can you do that? No, you cannot do that, 1 to 34. But if I ask you 1 to 7 Likert scale, yes, you can do that. From 1 to 7 Likert scale, you know what, sir? Uh, remember, no pearls is minus 0 0.481, right? So this one is actually the total utility estimates for each. Okay, for example, this is minus 0 0.481 plus more sugar is what? More sugar is uh, what? Ano ba? Uh, 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 this one more is uh, no, no, more sugar. That is what 0 0.060. So it's going to be that one. So, for example, uh, no purse minus 0 0.8481 plus 0 0.06 something plus blah 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 plus blah 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 plah blah, 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 blah. This is actually the value. The value, this is the, the value for each. Of course, the higher the better. Okay, this is the highest range, 1.127. What's that? Big pearls, normal sugar, 120 pesos, Macau Imperial, milk tea with cream cheese and more ice. But this is actually like a, among this one, among those 34 stimuli, okay, this is actually the best one, okay? This is actually the, the best one, okay? But uh, if you really see the best of the best combination is actually somewhere here. But this is like you cannot find in the, uh, you know what? The one in the uh, the sti the all stimuli uh, stimuli okay you cannot see that one, but uh, this is actually the best one. Okay, everyone, is it uh, understandable, Sir John? Up to here. Yes, High well. enough. We yeah, are processing. Okay, later on you can uh, see uh, the recorded video again. Okay, so this is the total. Later on from this total you can rank one to thirty four. Okay, how you do this one? Yeah, it's easy, right? In the Excel sort, you know, like that one, you know, in the Excel. Okay, but how to get this value? Later on we can get from SPSS. So from the data like one to seven, one to seven, one to seven, you know, from those data, you know what? Uh, we can just one shot click. You can get this one. You know what? And this is actually the beauty that I like. You know, some students they do the online. I would say the online copywriting, uh, you know what? Online copywriting uh, uh, marketing strategy, which one? And they're like, you like what? You like a face-to-face -face or like one time? Is it the price more important? Is it what? The, the exam or what? You know, that's one thing. But for me, as educator, okay, as a, a faculty in a university, I've done that, you know, and I show that to the, the all the top managers. Uh, the, I would like to say the, the, uh, uh, academic council, including the president of the Mapua, I show like, oh, sir, uh, this is actually the best strategy for BS, MS, and PhD. We cannot have the same strategy, okay, for, for those, okay, uh, that one. I, I did that, see? For example, this is what I've done with Conjoin. I think, I think some of you actually become the respondents, okay? The delivery type, you like asynchronous, synchronous, or mix? The Blackboard template, which one you like? You like what? Modular, non-modular? Non Bipolar, <laughs> bipolar, no, no, no. Modular, non modular, okay. Final exam, uh, multiple choice. You like essay, you like one conference paper, you like Coursera, yes or no, uh, seat works, yes or no, and which platform you like, the Zoom, Blackboard, or the uh, MS Teams, okay. And then later on, you know, uh, the number of the stimuli is just 20, okay. Uh, it was like uh, only 20, okay. Then I distributed for each, for example, one, two, 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 one, one. This is like, this is just the dummy code, everyone. What is what this means? Number two, for example, this one, synchronous, the Blackboard template is the course outcomes template, course outcomes can be like this one. See, course outcomes, this, the, the number two. And then, think, you know, uh, and then uh, modular, essay exam, Coursera, no required seat works, and then with the Zoom. So each one of, you know, the, the each of the stimulus, okay, you have to rank one to seven, okay? And later on, I would like to, uh, I collected around 100 something, and I did the three different market segmentations like BSI, BS, MEPIE, and non MEPIE. So, non MEPIE graduate. Okay. So, this one, I find that very interesting. Okay. For BS, do you know the most important is the final requirement 27%. But what kind of final requirement they like? Multiple, like, multiple choice. Wow, online and multiple choice. That's why they, you know, they like it. You know, uh, for us, I don't like it. For students, they like it. Okay, and the term style, 
they don't like the modular. Okay, so I show this one. Okay, so this is how they care more. Of course, the, the backboard API, they don't really care. Okay, but for you, most of you, look at that one for MAPI. The most important one is what? Look at that one, delivery type. Okay, and what's the delivery type you like? You like mix, but if you have to choose between synchronous and asynchronous, you like asynchronous more. So this is actually the thing that I would like, wow, this is a... a uh, uh, very important for MEPIE, you know, the flexibility is actually quite important. But look at that one, okay? For example, the final exam, not really big deal for, for all of you, either multiple choice or like the one conference, you know, or the essay exam, you know what? It's just quite small compared to this one, okay? The effect of this one is quite big, see? Compared to all oh, this is 0.0, .0 blah, 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 blah. It's very small. The same with this one. See, almost half, almost half of your important goes to the delivery type. So that's why for MEPIE, you know, this is very important okay, for the MEPIE, uh, how do you say that? Um, for the MEPIE students, okay? Okay, and this is for the PhD, MS, IE, MS, EM, PhD. I collected around 17, yeah? And for them, the most important is the final requirement. But what's important for them is the conference paper or even journal publication. They told me that the sir, we don't care what is final exam. We don't care about what is the Coursera and so on. We want publications. We are researchers, and then uh, you know they 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 want into something more into science. So that's why like when I teach in the PhD, it's so different when I teach within a master. Okay, <clears throat> so later on you get something like this one: market segmentation. Okay. Which market? BS, MEPIE, and then non-MEPIE graduate program. It's actually quite different, okay? So I did market segmentation like this one. I show which one is the most important, and then uh, which one is the least important, and what kind of the level is actually the most important for that one. See how powerful it is, the conjoint analysis. I even can apply that in the, you know, people can apply in the vaccine, in the uh, flight ticket, in the, in the hotel, in the, uh, compensation program like surgeon will do that, you know, online course and so on. But for me, since I'm in a, 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 a I've been academic in uh, say industry, you know, I show this one. It's so powerful that actually the, the, the students actually quite diverse by the nature. Okay. So the, the strategy will be different, but I'm not uh, in the top management program. So I just report this one. <laughs> and some professors are like, wow, you're so brave, you know, uh, uh, to talk about this one. For example, I say, of course, are not important. <laughs> so it works not important. <laughs> but this is the result, you know, I just tell the people, this is actually the result from the, uh, the preference of the students. But the preference, it does not mean the performance, right? This is just the preference, okay? I say that one in the limitation. This is the, and the paper you published already in the journal too, okay? In the, good journal okay uh this is the one and i just published yesterday no no actually last yeah yesterday uh actually about the gym the gym during the COVID 19 okay uh when you go to the gym okay there are so many attributes diva right? for example let the uh the the you know they use air conditioner or you use the 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 fan you know or just no no just window open window you know which one is it? i mean like the, that's one uh, attribute and the next one is like the the gym instructor you know free or so on i mean there are some attributes that the, and later on you know you can see which one is the the most important during this COVID 19 pandemic okay and i just published it yesterday uh if you still cannot find it online hopefully next week or yeah next week okay hopefully okay and so on. But later on, you know what, in more advanced level, you can do like conjoin with the cluster analysis, but this is very advanced okay, with the K, perhaps, you know, we can utilize the K-means uh, analysis, what it means. For example, hey, I like what? For me, the most important is, for example, as when we talk about coffee, for me, the most important is espresso, okay? No matter what, I like espresso. If the, you don't sell espresso, then I will find some other place, you know, some other coffee shops that sell espresso, okay? I don't really like cappuccino or like, a, a, you know, a latte and so on. You know, I don't really like that, uh, those things, okay? I like uh, uh, Americano or, Americano is fine, quite focal, okay? But I like the most is actually the, uh, espresso. So later on, you can have the market segmentation. Yes, the the most the general one is like someone like the, those who like big pearls, blah 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 blah. You know, you can they try to group it you into one cluster. Okay, another one you can have like oh those who like the small pearl, you know those who like small pearl. But another one perhaps we can what we can have the uh, the one that like the fruity, the one those who like the fruity they have a a place. You know, you you think that if if let's say fifty out of 400, then you remove those 50. No, you still have a segment for them to, to grow or like segment for them. You, you catch that in the market, okay? So those actually we can do in the uh, combine with the cluster, but I don't think in the, this class, you know, we, can, we will do this one because we will combine with the data mining technique, okay? But anyway, 
uh, only just showing the the conjoint, the level of attributes, and the best combination is actually already very great. But if you would like to continue to this one, well, you can you can go for your uh, master thesis or like the capstone. You know, for the you can do this one. You know, with your advisor. Okay. Any questions for the conjoint analysis? What is the other number of combination to be answered? I tried to run orthogonal and I got 64. It's many. It's impossible, 64. Then you have so many, too many attributes. Or perhaps you click wrong. <laughs> or you click it wrong, perhaps. <laughs> Maybe, sir. <laughs> Maybe, you know, Joshua, you know, let me double check you. The students told me like, oh, sir, oh, this is all about 64. How many attributes? I have uh, eight attributes. Grab it. That's a lot. That's why. <laughs> oh, I reduce see. to so can I you reduce to reduce. seven a little bit because okay, because eight is actually too much. You know, uh, too too many. I would like to say eight. Usually, try to make it. Uh, you know, a little bit. I mean, you sure those all of those eight are important, Joshua? Yeah, I can so, reduce her. I can. Reduce. Yeah, you can reduce <laughs> it, right? Okay, and so on. Okay, yeah. and then uh, yeah, so many things that uh, you can do with the conjoint.